Okay, so it looks like it's working. Uh, I'm gonna sorry about the title on Twitch. Initially, it's the wrong title because it doesn't let me add new titling into the thing when I'm gonna start. I have to do it after the fact. Okay, so Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, last time I flew, I flew a different aircraft. I flew the what the heck did I fly? Um, the Robin. So I'm gonna do the JMB aircraft this time. Uh, it's a little bit further. I think I had 540 on the nautical miles. This one has a little bit further range. Cruises at 130 knots, 13,000 uh, feet maximum altitude at 500 and 690 nautical mile range. It looks like a two-seater. So um, it could be a good getting around plane. So I'm going to check it out. I'm going to go here in Phoenix Goodyear and just taxi out. Um, we'll do live weather. And we'll just go, we'll just go from there. So uh, I was in Goodyear before. Uh, we'll fly. <clears throat> anyway. So yeah, again, I'm going through some of the stock aircraft that were in the version, the standard version that I purchased. I know the um, some of the upgrades have different aircraft in them, and I know you can upgrade to those upgrades from the standard. But with the time that I have to do anything, I figured I should just start with standard. <laughs> Who knows if I'd even get to all these. So I want to pick one that's kind of a favorite to do a lot of my flying in general um, and that's showing right there that's showing Son Sonora Sonoma um, but again I'm flying I'm considering my home airport to be Goodyear and Phoenix uh, but again this is mostly a sort of a, a you know checking out the aircraft so Maybe we'll see if we run into the same issues we did before, like I last time I take off, they had me take off with the wind. So that's an odd thing, I consider that a bug. And again, my settings are medium. Which is why this doesn't look overly spectacular with my rig, it's about what I'm dealing with. That's a nice looking aircraft though. Sporty. See, it's still, <laughs> still loading in the textures. Characters looked a little, a little, uh, Land. Looks like I picked the same spot to start in as I did last time. All right, you see the specs. It's real time, I think. I have some time off from work today. Okay, so nice looking interior. I tur I did turn on the. Um, oh wow, yeah, this is a sporty two seater. Um, it looks like I don't know back here is where you put your your stuff. Because I think it's got a thin tail, so you just kind of throw your golf bags back there. Um, and it's good, while it's loading in the resources, it's going to it's going to be some of that. It's got a nice glass canopy, though. I mean, you could see a lot from here. That's that's pretty cool. And if you want air, you can go there. Place to put your stuff. Um, just want to before I turn things on. It looks real simple. Real simple. This is like a flying car, basically. You got your turn. You got your you know your balance. There, left tank, right tank, engine warning, and there's, okay, there's my, there's my airspeed up there. I like how it, you know, like a Nautilus shape goes around. GMB aircraft, okay, well this is, never exceed 165 knots. Cruise speed at 121, slow it down to 88 on turns. At 81 knots, I should have the gear up, the flaps down 65, stalling speed 29 knots. Wow, that is slow. So I've got my, my timer there to show how many hours I'm going to log on the plane, flaps, all that stuff, do everything over there. Feel, it looks like the oh, this is all set up for my co-pilot to, to run all that stuff. Um, for all on trim, RPMs, takeoff. Oh, that's nice. 5,800 on takeoff, 5,500 on landing. Output setup, 75%, 5,000. Okay. Suction pressure. Well, that's good to know. I could check down to those things, but I got to know how to do it quickly. My comms. This is the simplest, the simplest uh, layout I've ever I've ever had before. So let's try this out here. Where's the control E? There we go. Garmin. There's my. So I'm yeah. I'm in it positionally position wise. I'm right here. Out there, oh, bus. These guys waiting for me to figure out what I'm doing. Um, 
I got a little dead zone, which is why it kind of sticks and then turns. But pretty good quality settings on medium. All right, so let me just take a look at my display heading altitude. This was one thing. Um, being able to set that I was having an issue with on the 172 is being able to set this stuff. So here's not an here's page menu. Well, that's kind of nice, that additional information. Inner right knob, outer right knob. I don't even know what I'm changing. Course. All right, heading and altitude, right? So heading, let's see, the heading is the inside, the altitude is the outside. Okay, 800, 1300. Uh, we're gonna be at 1900, right? I think we're at 900 feet above sea level, so we'll set it for left, uh, heading. Okay, well, I gotta find out what the runway heading is gonna be. All right, so let's let's dial in ATIS, find out what's What's going on? Oh, we got new stuff in the basic controls. Okay, I don't have to worry about that, but I've got my new... Like I said before, I've got a taxi... Oh, look at that. Stall speed, landing speed, 57 to 50. So about 50, 50 knots. Stall, uh, let's just say, let's, run, let's go middle, like, you know, 40, 50. Takeoff speed. 30? Recommend is that right? It's about 30 knots to take off. And it does say the stall speed is 20, 29, 28 knots. 29 knots. Why would it have to be take off at stall speed? I don't know. Uh, radio communications, uh, auto trim, AI piloting, uh, case status destination. That's cool. I don't really need the flight assistant. Sorry, I mean, I do have the taxi stuff, but let's go ATC. We'll dial in the ATIS. Hello. Oh, I want to ground, I'm sorry. There we go, ATIS. Hello. Maybe I'm, I'm doing the wrong one. Goodyear Airport information, Echo 000000. Wind calm. Visibility, one zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, Okay, so we're going runway 21, so I'll set my heading indicator to 21. So again, heading south. West to south. There we go. Alright, so now as far as setting it, I think I just hit Z. But, uh, okay, there's my comms. Transponder code, right, that's for that. Um, I don't know how to set up my. V okay, how do I go with my. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find out how to turn on my autopilot. I think it's the Z key, but uh, well, let's see here, hold on one second. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to hit Z, because I don't know what kind of mode it, to tell it if I'm going to be in um, I 
to tell it if I'm going to be in, you know, altitude hold, or... Huh. I don't know if I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? If I need to be altitude hold or, or all hold, I don't know. Maybe it'll just go to whatever I've set it in for, for all that stuff. Anyway. Alright, so I think, basically, let's just take off. So I'm going to set my my flaps to, I want it to take off, which is going to be right there, right? Yeah. So it doesn't, it doesn't show up here. Check my control surfaces. I can't see my, my, can I? Elevator, yeah, okay, there we go. We're good, we're good to go. All right, let's call ground, make it happen, Cap'n. Hold on a second. Uh, so I'm gonna go just part straight out. Goodyear Ground, JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra with Echo Request Taxi for takeoff straight out departure. That's the tower. JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Taxi to and hold short of runway 21 using Taxiway Alpha. Contact tower on 120 decimal 1 when ready. It's not taking that one. Taxi to and hold short runway 21 via Taxiway Alpha JMB Aviation X-Ray Golf Sierra. Okay. So next thing will be to call the tower when we get there. Now you can see, I think, it's got my, it's got my my taxi stuff here. I, I think these guys want to walk me back, right? So I'm, I'll just try this push back thing here. Oops, hold on. Ground services request push back. Goodyear Ground JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra requesting pushback. JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra pushback request accepted. Oh, I gotta take my brakes off though. There we go. Alright, so he's gonna push me back. He gets there. Come on, buddy. I really don't need a pushback in this aircraft, but in fact, looks like I'm not getting one. That's funny. Doesn't know how to lock into me. Oh, now he's pushing me back. Okay. I'm going to say steer to the left. Goodyear Ground JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. JMB Aviation Alpha oh. Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Which is the wrong way. Okay. Goodyear Ground JMB Aviation Alpha Oops. Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra requesting the end of pushback. JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra request to end pushback received. Okay. Alright, so anyway, that's how that works. That makes more sense if you got an airliner. Now I still have to steer around this guy. But presumably he's going to move for me. Thanks, guy. That's guy. And he's just going to go right through my wing. Because it's an alternate universe. Alright. So, can't collide with that guy, we recognize. Give him a little bit of go juice, as our old realtor used to call. Coffee. And I know it's not really realistic to see floating arrows. Oh, I guess... I guess when you, when you bring this to zero power, it kills it. But uh, I, I don't know my way around the airport yet. So I guess uh, because I don't have airport diagrams, I do have an airport diagram here. I know where, I think I know it, where they would have me go. But I don't know for certain. So I'd like to see, I'd like to see it pointed out digitally. 
to remove that um, tendency to maybe get it wrong. And then I could turn that off when I'm confident I know what the heck they're talking about. breaking because I don't want to kill this power totally. I think actually, they actually get shadows from those arrows, like they're physical objects. Right, I'm not quite on the line. I don't know what that object off there is supposed to be. Um, because of my low res, there is some, you know, some general odd shapes that are given. It looks like a pile of dirt over there, but it's obviously supposed to be a building. Uh, some trees show up as large kind of monoliths <laughs> because it doesn't. The game's not going into that much detail on the object. In Ultra, they look a lot, a lot better. But it's dedicating more of the graphic you know, rendering to nearby or more important objects like aircraft and stuff like that. Oh, this guy's starting up. Starting up or turning down? Can't tell. I'm gonna fly that one next time, Matt. I think you got your bonanza there. So that'll be that'll be interesting. I wanted to go I and I'm sorry, Matt Matt requested I do the bonanza next. But sorry, I gotta get adjusted in my seat. <coughs> but I wanted to um I want to go by nautical miles, so I want to keep going up each time by an aircraft with uh, with uh, greater nautical mile range. Put my brakes, my parking brakes on, contact the tower. Takeoff clearance. All right, we'll go through. Goodyear Tower JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra ready at runway 21, departing straight out. JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra hold short runway 21. Traffic is generic on base. On base? Okay. Hold short runway 21, JMB Aviation X Ray Golf Sierra. JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Altimeter 29 or decimal 8 tree when calm. Traffic is generic on base. Straight out departure approved. Oh. Cleared for takeoff runway 21. Okay. Cleared for takeoff runway 21 JMB Aviation X Ray Golf Sierra. Alright, so they had me hold because he was on base. Now they're saying I've got plenty of time to get out here and get up, so. So we're going to get it before it becomes an issue. That's quick, right? Got my gear up. Oh boy, oh boy. That is quite a climb. I'm going the wrong way on the trip. I just put myself on autopilot and it didn't do anything. Oops. Sorry. I don't I can't seem to engage the autopilot. Let's figure this out. heading, sort of. I've got no more takeoff flaps. I'm going fast, though. I'm at 50% power. So 
I'm bringing it down to a 33. This plane is, is sporty. Um, yeah, I cannot, uh, Z doesn't seem to set my autopilot. I don't even know if I have autopilot. But why would I have a heading bug and an altitude setting? I should, I guess I should check this out. I'm going to turn now. Where's my vertical speed indicator? I can't tell if I'm climbing or descending. I need to know this. Let's see. I'm going to turn heading 90, like I did before. Generic 059 or turn next taxiway. Let's see here. I want to get. I want to trim this baby. This is my vertical speed. It's going to be on here, right? 1900. Okay, so I've gone way past my thing. I'm at 2100 feet. I can't. Oh, 150, 200, 250. That's my vertical speed. Let's see, I'm going to check the external view, if I can get this thing to stop. Let's see, let's go with external view. Going to 121 decimal 7, generic 0, 59 There we go, okay, so I can turn my, my head and see what this looks like. Let's go to showcase. Oh, that's a sleek plane. This is nice. I can look behind me. There's good here. This isn't real time though. I mean, it's one o'clock in the afternoon here. Central time zone, so I don't know what time I think I'm Let's go back to the cockpit. I want to see if there was something on ATC that I missed. I don't want them to hand me over to the... Uh, I'm going to stay near the, the airport, though. So I'm just going to kind of go over the mountains here. I mean, near my airport, not near... Uh, Phoenix, because Phoenix is going to be out that way, the city proper. I'm just going to head over the mountains, see if we get some chop here. Yeah, I mean, it feels nice. Oh, there's like a racetrack. Oh, yeah, that, I forget which racetrack that is. But, okay, so if you if you look at Google Maps... I'm going to fly back out over it. Look at Google Maps. JMB Aviation X-ray off the arrow, leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Oh, that's me. All right. Goodyear Tower JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Frequency Change. that. Uh, I'm going to leave that near a <clears throat> But anyway, there's there's a, um, a racetrack there. So if you look, if you find the Goodyear Airport, which is back there at the Beacon, um, you go a little bit south of there. I don't know what the name of this raceway is, but, but there it is. It'll be interesting to know. Get, get a little bit more detail as we get closer to it. I'll do a little bit of an S-turn. I'm descending a bit, don't worry about it, but I wanted to get a better view. Yeah, there it is. 
Kind of cool, right? So if you're... Looks like NASCAR or something. Uh, there's a little something there with the... You know, some of the texturing of the ground. How it changes. Sort of, you know, symmetrically. Which you wouldn't expect to see. You can see the color change. With the bands there. Um, it would be nice if they had something that... would sort of blend those together because that's what you would expect to see alright so a good year alright we're not gonna we're not gonna land yet though but I do I did just want to take this actually I will kind of land soon we'll, we'll go back out and we'll do the the full stop where is the airport right there so there, I'm gonna enter probably right Right down one. Okay. Goodyear Tower JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra is four miles southeast, 2,700 feet with echo to land. JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Goodyear Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 84029 or at 7. Enter left traffic runway 21. Enter left downwind runway 21 JMB Aviation X ray Golf Sierra. at 2,800 feet. I gotta, I gotta lose a little bit of altitude, so I'm gonna come back on my throttle. Yeah, I don't have any... Matt mentioned before, man, I don't have any nav points to tell me where I'm at in the pattern. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I could tune in. Let's see here. 2-1. Yeah, I've got the... I've got approach... Approach thing here for runway right, right three zero. But ground control is here. I don't have I don't think I have the, the beacon tuned in there. Sorry, I gotta I gotta get rid of the alarm on my phone. Um but I think the the pattern is nineteen hundred feet so I'm I'm up too high. Coming down though, 500 feet per minute, so. Well, 150 knots. So, let's see here. Sorry, I'm looking at my approach plate. Head towards Fargo, maybe. Or Fargo. Uh, and my, let's see. Speed with the flaps down, 65 knots. All right, so I need to I need to trim back and pull back up my throttle to slow me down. slow down. I mean, this thing has got some power to it. I'm at 25%. I'm going to go idle, basically. Just to shed this. Oh, 67. Wait, is that my knots on the left? I thought I was looking at something else. Hey, up here, it look like I'm going 100 oh, those are kilometers an hour. Oh, okay. Flaps down. JMB Aviation X ray Golf the Arrow one zero five nine or in five. Clear to land runway 21. Clear to land. I'm, I'm still down with it. Clear to land runway 21 JMB Aviation X ray Golf Sierra. Alright, well, I'm going to minimize this, but we're going to keep an eye out for other aircraft because we haven't even crossed the threshold yet. And I don't know if this is going to let anybody else in from the side. Really 
comfortable making my, my base turn yet. I got my flaps at the third setting down there. I got one more to go for final. I don't have my gear down yet. I'm not going to go. I'm going out about to about the highway. See, this is kind of where you got to figure, you got to know your distances. And I got to be dialed in. Like, I got to be dialed in to know how far I am from the air. In the airfield. 19 nautical miles? 18. 17. See, I'm dialed into somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to turn on base. I'll put some more flaps down as I dip. My gear down. speed. It's my stall speed. 29 knots. I mean, I like this aircraft. This is good for like doing a scenic, a scenic flight someplace. I really gotta shed some altitude here. I didn't. I didn't come out enough. I didn't go far out enough, you know? But, you know, I like it. I don't have the autopilot I'm looking for. So that's an issue for me continuing to fly it much. Okay, all right, well. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Alpha Cross Runway Tree Alpha JMB Aviation X-Ray Golf Wait, Sierra. they want me to turn? Hold on a second, hold on. Oh, that's what they want me to do. Okay, they want me to continue. I just went in a circle. <laughs> I didn't know. So this is what happened last time. I didn't have this assist on, so I did not know what they wanted me to do. And they need me to cross, they need me to come back out to the runway 
to get back to where I need to go. Yeah, this plane wants to shoot into space. This thing is a rocket. If I... I don't want to cut my throttle all the way. But that's about as low as I could put it. And it's rolling me along at a good clip. I gotta keep it in the brake. So, unless they tell me otherwise, I'm going right out. I mean, I'm checking for traffic. But but essentially, that's odd though, that they want me to use the runway as a taxiway. And I, I didn't see where the sock was. Looks like there's not much wind at all. It's like almost hanging straight down, so it doesn't really matter which, which direction you take off in. Looks like there's somebody out there maybe making an approach. I get some some specs, you know, some digital digital specs on my screen that are supposed to mimic, I think, you know, particulate on the on the canopy and sometimes I mistake that for other planes and such. So I think that was all right. I mean, I think this is a nice little plane. I'd fly this again. Um, but, you know, just to tool around and look around someplace. I wouldn't... So this, this I think this, so far, this is my favorite aircraft to just get up and look around. For low, ring, low wing, I'm sorry. It's um, It's got a huge canopy that allows you to really look all over and see everything. It's quick. It gets you up and down easy. It's got amazingly slow stall speed, um, so those are all good things. Easy to fly, it's like a car, basically. But because it doesn't have, you know, I don't know. I, I, again, I gotta go into the, into the, um, the controls to see what's going on, but I'd like, right, I mean, Matt, if you see this, I don't see an autopilot. Got a heading indicator. It's got to be, though. There has to be an autopilot mode. And if there is, I don't know how to set it. I don't even, I don't see a button, like a, a, an actual button here that, I don't know what ENT is. ELT. can't tell where this thing wants me to go. I can't see over these things. So I don't know what this thing is. Oops. Okay, so, yeah. So I don't know what it is, you just press buttons, right? That's the best way to find out. Oh, there's a little parking spot. Sounds like something's running up there, but I don't know what. Not the king here. I don't see. I don't see the engine going. Yeah, see that sock seems to indicate the wind is coming from the direction I've been landing. It doesn't make sense. All right, this even gives you like a ground spot where I'm supposed to go. All right, so he's gonna he's gonna direct me in here. That's cool. That's it. Put my parking brakes on. 
kill the engine. Engine should have killed that. It sounds like that guy's engine's running. And then start it, right? Stop it, right? Oh, I guess I'll just turn off the master switch. Wait a second. Battery. Oh, here we go. Alright, told time to fly 15 minute flight, daytime, so I've done a lot of my day stuff. Yeah, for getting up flying around, taking a look at stuff, it's cool, but not for my point to point. I'm not going to, sorry, I'm not going to do that. Right. It's pretty cool with the, with the ground group though, showing you how to get there. Um, yeah, so it's nice looking aircraft. The next one I'm going to go up is going to be the, I think the Baron. Right. See if I go back to the main menu. How do I get to the main menu? Oh, there we go. Continue. Hey, that looks like Arizona there. Babies. Next aircraft is going to be... Yeah, the GBL-3. If I go... How do I go back? Aircraft selection. That is in 690. I think, actually, hold on a second here. I think the, the Cub Crafter is a 695. I may try the Cub Crafter, man. Sorry, dude, but 695 before it goes to the 780. And then the 920. All right, so there's a couple more before that, man. I think I'm going to do the Cub Crafter. Although that's not really kind of plane I'm looking to fly more like a one seater so maybe I won't do the cub crafter maybe I'll do wait that was 695 um, 780 the flight design here's a two seater 780 nautical miles 15,000 feet that's gonna be the one I do next and uh, Like Design Aviators Club, maybe we'll do that one. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to do a couple other titles today, too, so keep tuned in. Thanks.